is a daily English news program in Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Elius Sindi. President Ilham Aliyev sent an executive order in regards to the 30th anniversary of the Hojali genocide. According to the executive order, the presidential administration of the Republic of Azerbaijan has been tasked to prepare a plan of actions in regard to the 30th anniversary of the Hojali genocide. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, has received in a video format Secretary General of the World Customs Organization, Kuno Mikuria. Hailing the fruitful cooperation between Azerbaijan and the World Customs Organization and the support of the organization for the country, President Ilham Aliyev recalled with pleasure previous meetings and discussions he had held with Kunio Mikuria. The head of state held the fact that the cooperation with Azerbaijan has always been at the focus of attention of the World Customs Organization Secretary General, pointing out that the organization's valuable recommendations and advice contributed to the development of the sector in the country. Secretary General Kunio Mikuri expressed satisfaction with his visit to Baku ahead of the 30th anniversary of the establishment of the Customs Service in Azerbaijan and congratulated President Ilham Aliyev on the growing role of the country in the region and across the world. Emphasizing that his organization will continue to support customs reforms in Azerbaijan, he noted that Azerbaijan has become a center of regional development and transport hub. Kunya Mikuria said that the stability in the South Caucasus region has created favorable opportunities for the development of regional cooperation, people-to-people -people contacts and transport links. President Ilham Aliyev noted that Azerbaijan has become a transport and logistics center in the region thanks to the country's favorable geographical position, investments in infrastructure and relations with neighboring countries, adding that regional ties create a favorable environment for cooperation. Pointing to the issues of regional cooperation, the head of state said that despite the global economic crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the increase in trade with key partner countries for Azerbaijan last year was an indicator of the country's economic recovery and development. President of Azerbaijan described last year's growth of the economy by more than 5%, the nanol sector by 7%, and the nanol industry by 20% as a result of reforms. President Ilham Aliyev hailed new opportunities for cooperation in the region after the end of the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The sides exchanged views and prospects for developing cooperation between Azerbaijan and the World Customs Organization. It should also be noted that President Ilham Aliyev, by signing the executive order on January 28th, awarded Kunio Mikuria with a Dostluk order for his service in the development of cooperation between the State Customs Committee of Azerbaijan and the World Customs Organization. On January 27, starting from 8.58 p.m. to 11 p.m., the Armenian Armed Forces units from the positions in Chinarli settlement of the Tovuzgala region of the state border, using small arms periodically subjected to fire the positions of the Azerbaijan army in the direction of Kohanabi settlement of Tovuz district. According to the Defense Ministry, relevant measures have been taken by the Azerbaijan army units stationed in this direction. There are no losses among the military personnel and equipment of the Azerbaijan army. The next issue of the Ears magazine, which promotes Azerbaijani culture and art abroad, has been released. This time it is published in Chinese. The issue of the magazine contains information about the culture, the ancient history of our country, including Karabakh, the aggressive policy of Armenia and its insidious consequences, the new realities that arose in the region after the Second Karabakh War. The editor-in-chief Musa Merjanli, in the preface under the heading Restoring Historical Justice in Azerbaijan, emphasized that the 44-day patriotic war put an end to 30 years of injustice and one of the longest-standing conflicts of our time. The author of the article on the formation of a new geopolitical situation after the brilliant victory of Azerbaijan is Foreign Minister Jehun Baramov. The article Realities of the Post-War Period states that thanks to the victory, Azerbaijan has fulfilled the requirements of international law, documents adopted by the UN and other international organizations on the conflict. The article of the Minister of Culture, Anar Kerimov, Azerbaijani culture, which gained integrity thanks to the liberation of Karabakh, emphasizes the important role of Karabakh in the history and modern day of Azerbaijani culture. The article talks about the restoration of cultural monuments destroyed during the 30-year-old Armenian occupation. In the article titled A State Created for Aggression, Russian political scientist Alek Kuznetsov argues that the aggressive policy against Azerbaijan stems from one of the main legal documents of the Armenian state. The photographs and texts in external notes on Karabakh by Russian journalist Andrei Vasilyev reflect the extent of the destruction committed by the occupiers in Karabakh, including the desecration of places of worship and cemeteries. 
The issues of the magazine included articles discovering Azerbaijan from the Karamansaray to the crater of the volcano, the first coins with the name of Karabakh, Azerbaijan through my eyes, by the first volunteer teacher of the Confucius Institute in Azerbaijan, San Yang, and I and Azerbaijan for 15 years by Liu Lipi, living in our country. A mobile compound for sappers was established in Agdam. The compound will serve employees of the Mine Action Agency who are conducting the mining operations in Karabakh. Mobile-type compound is equipped with modern equipment and consists of variously sized containers for fulfilling all needs of the personnel. To ensure effective leisure of the personnel, there are football and volleyball courts on the territory of the compound and gym equipment is installed. It should be noted that in accordance with the green energy concept, the compound is equipped with special lighting mass powered by solar energy. Mobile compound allows to expand the scope of conducted operations and to increase the number of personnel. The mobile compound consisting of containers can later be moved to another area depending on the direction of the demining operations. 3,564 infections with the novel coronavirus were registered in Azerbaijan. 1,004 people kept after treatment and were released home. 19 people who earlier tested positive for COVID-19 died. The overall confirmed cases in Azerbaijan have reached 647,073 with 621,186 recoveries and 8,683 deaths. Number of active infections is 17,204. To detect new infection cases over the past day, 12,445 tests and overall 6,119,861 tests have been conducted in Azerbaijan. The task force under the Cabinet of Ministers reported. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.